The last one is really remarkable and it's kind of uh, just come out and it's, it's getting into the electronic space. So really our, our systems, when we talk about solar, we've got, we've got the cells that generate DC power, uh, put into modules, strung together in, in large groups to kind of create large uh, uh, arrays. And then you have to convert that power from DC over to AC and sync it with the grid to do a lot of other great things so that it's workable and usable. And usually we use things called string uh, in inverters. And you know this podium is about the size of a, of a string inverter for a house, maybe a little bit of a large one, maybe about half that they've gotten that size. And that goes somewhere into a central location. Maybe a few of them go together. And now end phase you know, has got something that goes on the back of the module. So every module has, uh, has an individual inverter. And so making this even smaller and even more cost effective is going to be a great thing for, for our industry. And it, it does a remarkable thing. If you understand st series uh, wiring at all, then you, you, you might understand that if, if we have shading on one of our cells, which is semiconductor material, then it's a resistor, and all of a sudden there's no power going through that cell. And there's no power going through a whole section of, of the module, which has been reduced because of somebody else figured out how to use diodes. But these guys make it so that each individual module is like its own individual unit, which is great you know, for the apartment owner. Now they've got a home, own, home solution, and they can... They can plug this into their, their wall and they're, they're up to go and they're on the grid. And this is a nice, uh, nice thing to sell uh, at Christmas time, which I'm going to try this year for the first time. Uh, for $2,500, you can have your own solar power system now and it's installed and that's, that's great. But I mean, this kind of technology where you've got a, a big change, which will allow us to really actually make it so we probably actually start putting modules on the north sides of buildings because it, it'll probably make sense now. So where do we go and, and what, what comes next? Well, I mean, I, I think maybe... If I was to like use a little bit of paper, I think in, in solar we may be at a point where we're ready for a bit of a shakeout, but I think the next, we're probably right about here, and I think we're going to have maybe, maybe a bit of a shakeout. So right now, if you're still in a lab and you're working on things, you're probably in a good position. Stay in the lab for a little while, get your patents up to speed, and then get ready because when we get mainstream, I mean, this is, we're not even close to mainstream right now. Like we're, we're not even at early adoption. So... That's it, and these are probably some ideas on what would work, but honestly, I'm the kind of, I work, we're an engineering firm, but I'm the guy that takes boxes and puts them together. I don't, I don't make the boxes, and so um, I know the better ideas come from other places. That's it. I'll take some questions if you have any. Yeah. What's the largest installation you're aware of? You know, that changes about weekly. There's two things that happen all the time. Announcements of what's the largest one. I mean, there's gonna be some huge ones in the California desert, like, like enormous, um, like 12 sections of land being used for, for, uh, for solar. Um, just enormous fields of solar panels will, will be will be out there. Um, so that utilities are getting to another interesting change in our market. You know, when I started, distribution and, and, and installation on on residential and commercial buildings was the majority of the market. And now it's only 25% of the market, and it still grows at a rapid rate. But utilities are in this on a huge scale, because this is a very scalable product, and they go, put one, two together, that looks good. Well, why don't we put uh, six million together? What happens then? Can you make it work? And then they hire Stantec, and Stantec goes, yeah, we can make this work. So, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, so that's a good decision. Is there any uh, pushback to that technology because of that? Not, not, not yet. I have, a, I have a genuine concern about it. Um, but the company First Solar has, you know, they're, first off, they're well-funded. They have, a, they have a, a recycling program. If you, if you put this product uh, anywhere, you have a 20-year life, and then they're going to come by and pick it up. They have a recycling program. So assuming that they're, they're, they're putting their proper money into their insur insurance program into coming by in the recycling program, they'll be back in 20 years to get it from you. And so they've, they, and they have that, they have, have that, have that to sell that. And unless you stick them in the landfill, they're not going to hurt anybody. <laughs> it's still cadmium. Right. It, the whole NICAD battery thing. It's yeah. Like this. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I have that concern. But as an industry, there's been no pushback. Um, demand, people look at it, they get, they talk to somebody who, like me, who seems very charming and convince them it's a good idea and then they do it. <laughs> <laughs> Factory 
you can look at you can look at each uh, manufacturer and, and, they'll, and, and what, how they, they operate. And, and there's too many now to really know. Um, I mean, some Chinese manufacturers got in trouble uh, for some of the chemicals they were using. Uh, REC is a Norwegian company, and then so they're setting up a plant in Quebec. Um, I don't know. You have to love hydro electricity to think this is a really good idea. But so they've basically taken the approach that you know all the electricity goes into the input of their of their product comes from hydroelectricity, so it should be you know uh, a very neut you know carbon neutral process, and it, and, it, and it's that's kind of an approach they take. And then each other manufacturer has has very have, have compliances to to meet. Um, you know the program in Ontario is really going to demand that modules and or at least the cells get made in Ontario. So I'm sure Ontario environment will be on top of compliance. Yeah. What about collaborations between uh, in, with Alberta companies? Mm -hmm. You mentioned a lot of companies out of side of Alberta. What about Alberta companies? Um, Anything going on there? <coughs> no. Okay. Yeah, I'm just a chance occurrence that I'm here really. There's really, it, like, like we're, we're here because the oil and gas uses it for niche applications and that allows us to sort of uh, stay open. Uh, and, uh, you know, there's n this place has a great opportunity for it. I mean, we have enormous sunshine. We have communities like Medicine Hat that are stepping forward and creating programs. I can see the government trying to model the, every municipality after Medicine Hat, uh, and there will probably be in the next two or three years some large, maybe not large in scales of what's being announced today, but, but large to Alberta systems installed. What I thought was, rather than installations, some of the technology developments. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you saw some of the discussions this morning, but... You know, so they talk about solar. So there may be some solar applications coming forward from the region that may be applicable to what you're doing. Yeah. And I, and I would, you know, I'd, I'd like that. Because, I mean, this one here, I, I should, should have mentioned, is, is from uh, BC. This is Day Forest Technology. And I didn't mention it because I didn't think it was super cool, but it is kind of cool. They've just took a, they got a web and they found a way to bond aluminum on that uh, is, is more automated uh, and has less failure in sort of the, the connection um, of the, uh, the aluminum stripping to the cell, and so they actually get better productivity and they cover less surface area, so it's kind of cool technology. But yeah, I'd, I'd love to talk about that, and I think this guy I got pointed on, I'm supposed to meet him soon, so right. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to meet him right after I'm done here. <laughs> yeah, no, that's great.